Hello everyone, welcome to Jehu Crochet. In today's video we have a yarn review of this beautiful yarn that you see in front of you. This is Infinity Hearts Lily. You can get this yarn at Rito Hobi and I will leave all the information in the description box below. Rito is a Denmark-based uh, company. They sell yarn and craft supplies. And if you do not know their website, I highly recommend that you go and check them out. And as I've said, links will be down below to both their online shop, their Facebook, their Instagram, and all other information that you need. I will just state before I start talking about this yarn for those of you who wouldn't watch through the video uh, there is a very special offer going on on the website right now so if you order between today when this video is being released until May 26th of 2021 there is a very special um, offer on this specific yarn if you get 10 balls of this yarn you will get a free bag that goes along with them all you have to do in order to get that uh, very special uh, deal is to insert the code that appears on the screen right now i will also uh, write this code in the description box below along with um with all the details uh, and all you gotta do is insert that code when you check out and you will get your free gift uh, together with that yarn the yarn that I'm going to talk about today, as I've said, is Infinity Hearts Lily. And let's talk a little bit about the specs of this yarn. It is 70% cotton and 30% superwash merino made in India. There are 50 grams in each ball, that's uh, 100 meters, which makes it um, somewhere between a lightweight 3 and a worsted weight. I would classify it as a thick lightweight 3, not quite uh, thick to be a, a 4 weight, a medium weight. And they recommend a 4.5 millimeter needle or hook size. And all the information for washing and drying is, as always, on the ball band. Um, one more thing uh, that I wanted to state is that it is um, the Ocotex, that is the European standard for uh, yarn, then uh, I'm very, very happy that this company does have this stamp on there. Uh, that means that the yarn is... Um, held to the very high standard of the European Union in terms of yarn production. So this yarn is a chain spun yarn and the way it is constructed is that on the outside there is this chain, this white chain that you see uh, that is made out of cotton and inside the chain, inside this uh, chain tube, there is the merino fiber which is in different colors. So what you see on the outside, the white is the cotton and the color that you see, that uh, peachy color that you see right now, is the merino fiber inside this tube. I really like uh, this way of construction in the yarn because it gives a very very special effect when you work with it and you will see it in a little bit when I will show you uh, the little swatch that I have made. This construction of the yarn also makes it very very light and airy. And when you look at this ball of yarn, you can really see how fluffy it is. It is very soft. Um, there is a wonderful spring and summer yarn. You get both the good qualities of cotton as well as a superwash merino. And I think it will make amazing spring and summer items. I personally am working on a design with this yarn and a tutorial will come up on my channel very, very soon. So look forward to that. And I have a few colors that I wanted to show you. And we will start with the one that's in my hands right now. It is color number four. This is peach. The color peach. And that is so summery. It looks um, fresh, happy. I really like the color. The next color I wanted to show you is this one. This is color number 17 and it is called yellow. Um, quite straightforward. It is very yellow. It has sort of like a mustardy yellow look to it. Very nice. Next we have this color. It is color number 13 and that is the blue purple or bluish purple. 
and it looks kind of like a lavendery. In certain uh, angles, it will look a little more blue than purple. Very, very nice color. The next color is color number seven, and this is the purple color. This is a darker color than the one I just showed you guys, and it is um, more saturated. Next, I have this darker pink color, sort of like somewhere in between a pink and a purple. It is color number 16, and it is called Heather. You can really see the halo very nice on this color. Next up is color number 11, and this is the red color. Next up, we have color number 6. This is a turquoise. It is a very saturated aqua color, and this will be amazing for summer. It will catch up the sun beautifully. And for those of you who prefer the darker colorways, those exist as well in this line. This is color number 14. It is called black. Of course, because of the way this yarn is constructed with the tube of the cotton on the outside, it will never be completely black. That uh, effect of the chain spun on the outside and the fiber on the inside gives it a bit of a grayish look. But this is the darker and or the darkest color in this uh, series. Now that we saw all the colors, I wanted to show you one more time the construction of this yarn. is very, very interesting and you can see it very well here at the end. It is a tube of chain and in the middle you can see that dot of fiber that runs through it. So the fiber that's inside the chain is not spun which gives it this beautiful halo effect around it. Now let's work up a small swatch and see how it looks. I worked out this batch. Um, it's just a series of single crochet, half double crochets and double crochets. You can see that the stitch definition is amazing. Just as I promised you guys before, you can really see every single stitch. This yarn will work perfect with the simplest stitches as well as the more intricate ones. You will just see any pattern that you want to make you will see it beautifully with that yarn the way the yarn is constructed it just it gives it this amazing stitch definition and i just cannot wait to come up with some intricate design uh, that will bring out these abilities of this amazing yarn um, I pulled mine from the center. There wasn't a marked center pull, but it was very, very easy to find. There was no yarn barf, no nothing. All I had to do is reach inside and um, and find the, the beginning. And it, it went very, very easy. So for those of you like me who prefer a center pull, this uh, this is great. Uh, to find the other side, uh, the, the outside pull of the yarn was also very easy. You saw me do it before when I showed it to you, um, when I showed you how the yarn is constructed. So um, on this side, uh, wonderful. The yarn doesn't stick to itself as some yarns that have a lot of halo tend to do. This uh, specific yarn did not stick to itself at all. It was not hard to pull it from the center. Uh, sometimes the problem with, cent with yarns that are not marked as center pulls is because the yarn tend to stick to itself and whenever you pull you get a terrible yarn barf. As I said, you do not get it with this yarn, which I love very, very much. Um, you see the halo in the design. You will also feel it when you wear it. Uh, very, very soft, very nice on the skin. Let's uh, try to frog it and see what it does. I'm not even pulling very hard. This is wonderful. Look, there is no sticking. There is no tangling. Wonderful. I love it. It's so easy to pull. So even if you made a mistake, <laughs> no problem. So all in all, wonderful, wonderful yarn, great experience. I ended up going um, one half a size uh, bigger than the ball band suggests. They suggest a four and a half. I ended up working with a five millimeter. I think um, when I look at this, I could have also gone with a four and a half. My stitches will be a little 
tighter together but um, works with a five just as well so there you have them again all those beautiful colors and look how well they work together there will be no problem at all with mixing up colors from this collection uh, you will very easily find colors that work well together to join in one project um, I like that uh, as well. So personally, from me, this yarn gets five stars. I can't wait to start working on a project with it. It works up wonderfully. It feels great. It doesn't stick to itself. Uh, it's a good weight. It's light. It's airy. Um, it's, it's just wonderful. So I highly recommend it. And don't forget, if you get it now on the website before May 26th of 2021, then you have that very special offer that I mentioned. If you get 10 balls of the yarn, you will get a free bag with the code. So the code will be in the description box below along with all the necessary information. And I hope that you go and check them out. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment and tell me how did you like this yarn. Tell me if you have experience working with Rito uh, yarns or different things that you got from their website. Uh, if you know it, if you ordered from them in the past, what was your experience? experience and what was your general impression after uh, watching this review tell me what you think thank you all very very much for watching and i will see you next time bye